got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. I'm in no mood to tickle the ivories now. A bit weighty for me. Tanks, but no tanks. Hmm. If you thought that was impressive, you should have seen the one that got away. Hmm, so this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Hey! Want to see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. Ahoy, matey. Fun sub. A little break from the spy biz might do me some good.
The door is locked. The door is locked. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. Five 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 four zero two three. Hello, Spycore Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. Watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. You saved me! Thank you, Mr. Um... Oh. Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good! I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened?
Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese! cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bluevine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Bye, folks. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you're done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer X-ray gum for their patients who need X-rays. A duck needs his fiber. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this X-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. His ticker looks like it needs winding. I found the note. I'll be able to disarm that milky weapon of destruction with that punch card. I just need to find it, then figure out where to place it. Look at this pen. He must have been trying to write a letter from his heart. If only I could read the note he swallowed. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. 
what you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. Yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. I'm going to lose my appetite if I keep this up. I'm sure glad this spy gadget vending machine doesn't have a no deposit, no return policy. What handsome cufflinks! Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spa. Mmm, that was a tasty one. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know, all right? Thanks, Bee. Why don't you give me one order of chicken knuckles to go? It's your funeral, honey. It says, secret sauce. Do I dare be? You tell me, spy guy. Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board. Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost.
I can gather information about the deck party with this. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah! 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 Oh, forget it. I can't sell you that cat. It's still alive. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. There it was again. Greetings. Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox? Spy Fox, I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time, and you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play Go Fish for trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table, and we'll get started. Place your trinkets on the table, and we'll get started. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. Got any kings? No fish, sir. Hmm, got any ten? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any twos? No, sir. Go fish. Got any aces? Go fish. Got any sevens? What a fun game this is. Got any threes? Got any queens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any kings? Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any jacks? Nope, go fish. Got any sixes? Got any nines? Got any threes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any eights? Go fish. Got any twos? <laughs> Go fish. Got any sevens? <laughs> and that makes a set, sir. Got any jacks? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any tens? Got any sixes? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any twos? Got any jacks? Go fish. Got any aces? Got any threes? No, sir. Go fish. Got any twos? Nice.
nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any threes? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any fours? Nope, go fish. Got any twos? I'll just take those off your hands. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Hmm, got any tens? Got any kings? Go fish. Got any fives? <laughs> go fish. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any threes? Go fish, sir. Hmm, got any tens? I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Got any eights? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any nines? <laughs> go fish. I love this game. Got any twos? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any threes? I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> Got any king? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any jacks? I'll just take those off your hands. Got any twos? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any fours? Nope, go fish. Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. Got any eights? Go fish. Got any fours? I'll just take those off your hands. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any fives? Go fish, sir. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any aces? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any jacks? A match made in heaven, sir. Got any kings? Ah, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. Got any eights? Go fish. Got any aces? <laughs> Go fish. That's one set of cards taken care of. Got any twos? <laughs> I'm good. Got any eights? Nope. Go fish. Got any sixes? A card. Thank you so much. This suits me just fine. Got any queens? No, sir. Go fish. Got any eights? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Ah, yes. Another one for me, sir. I win. Another game? It will only cost you a trinket. Not you again! How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! A nerve of something. You think they would... Yeti! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. So, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. 
How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. Hello. You must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadway. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to. And that is the tango. I love the tango. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. I've never done the math on that. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. I've never been involved in a waltz napping before. Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian Blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spy Corps database has on her. Name, Russian Blue. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Occupation, owner and operator of the SS Deadweight. Head of Public Relations for NOG. Close associate of William the Kid, and one Bad Kitty. Known felonies, indecent tangoing, acquitted. Dancing with intent to tango, acquitted. J tangoing, acquitted. Tangoing out of season, acquitted. Comments, Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. Interesting, it sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still, why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? Then we can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. You need Russian blue followed? I'm your bug. I'm on her like fleas on a dog. Or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to have you aboard, Walt. Hop in. <coughs> Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are beautiful, baby. Don't go changing. Nah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab rooney sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. Play it again, Johnny! Beat Bliss. 
It smells funny. Secret sauce may cause drowsiness in alligators. Hmm, I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. I love to tango, but now I must attend to some important business. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. I better answer my spy watch. It could be about my dry cleaning. Please stand by. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information you may need to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. We interrupt this program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We've just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute, the car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh no, my cover has been compromised. Mayday, mayday. For Spycore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. Did you see that, Monkey Penny? I sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting for you in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. You better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Monkey Penny said to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. The hog in the fog fell into a bog. So the frog called the dog and had him bring a log. Hello, Agent Fox. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of coded password, but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important, though. All right, let's hear it. It goes like this. The strong, fat boy. What a curious phrase. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Agent Fox. You always do. That's true. I do. All right. I gotta go chase down another lead. Ta-ta. Thanks, Mata. A hiding place like that must be really draining for her. Hmm. N-O-G. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, that stands for Nectar of the Goats, a world-renowned purveyor of goat milk and goat byproducts. I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar.
probably a nice place, until someone came along and ruined it. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. The strong, fat boy. That's odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. This hieroglyphic reminds me of the smell of feta cheese. It's strong. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. This symbol means fat. This symbol means boy. Looks like this secret passage isn't so secret anymore. These suction couplings should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. When I finally catch William the Kid, I'll give him the name of my plumber. my suction cufflinks here in case I need to make a fast getaway later. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got into Kid's Secret Fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. thing is not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. I'd better look for a uniform. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. Uh-oh, someone's coming. I'd better hide. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch
punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, your imperial goat meat. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. <coughs> this looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. If I don't remember the... I need to get... I think I remember... This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Oh, hi. I'm from the accounting office. I was asked to count all the offices. I need to get into that room and make sure it's really an office. If you're from the accounting office, you know perfectly well that this is William the Kid's office. No one but the Grand Goathead himself is allowed in there. Oh, right. Of course. How silly of me. That's the office that really counts. Sorry to bother you. I need to get into Kid's office and take a look around. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any other. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. Folks, I'm on a mission. You must be one dedicated accountant. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. This must be the paper William the Kid mentioned. Now can I get the location of that punch card? It says red. Somehow, I don't think William the Kid was thinking of the chalk when he... It says yellow. It would be silly not to snoop around Kid's office. I'll come back here later. It looks like a billboard.
I hate to be caught out of uniform. But then again, I hate to be caught in general. It's a secret passageway. What a clever secret entrance. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. It's the famous Mona Gota painting. But what's it doing here? This seems to be some sort of multicolored lock mechanism. Aha! A secret wall safe. What an original hiding place. This cheese and safe cracker kit should do the trick. Okay, now for the tricky part. This seems to be working. One more to go. I'm in! Sometimes I amaze even myself. Those must be the punch cards. Which one do I need? Maybe this is the punch card I need. I'd better close the safe. I don't want anyone to suspect that it's been tampered with. This uniform is a fashion nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Spy Fox out. I hope this is the right punch card. <laughs> that did the trick. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible or in this case, smelly fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction, but I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. 
Delicious. You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one. If you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. <laughs> Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. This should be easy. Uh-oh. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait. All right, let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. Hey, the secret sauce is putting them to sleep. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. The kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. I hereby declare you free-range cows. <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. Think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. This'll eject me right onto Kid's blimp. Eh, uh, yeah. Now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox. You can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 2 degrees south, 30 degrees west. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. This reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. That must be the entrance to the front of Kid's diabolical blimp.
This must be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. This will take me to the back of the blimp. Looks like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. Now I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into evil villain jail. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into evil villain jail. That did the trick. Hmm, what an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps Cafeteria. A piece of rye bread might do the trick. My trap is set. I better hurry. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy Fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Go? What do you mean by that? Whoa! Too bad there was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my plan. If it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Bye, Fox! You'll pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. <sighs> Later that day. Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the President is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. For outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos, and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice. I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk?
I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. <laughs> <laughs>